Alright. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Hello, hello, welcome hello. back, welcome back. We got uh another matchup here. We got Jeremy. Jeremy Adams. He will be playing uh Guardy. I don't know if that's his heel Guardy. And then we got Suzanne Schaff. She'll be playing uh straight Don Fan. This should be an interesting matchup as Don Fan can uh put a, a lot of damage out very quickly. Mm -hmm. Um and it's not as susceptible to Psychic Lock. All right. So Suzanne starts off first. So unfortunately, no trainers, supporters, or stadiums from her. But it's not like Guardy is the deck that can um, donk anyway. Touch energy. But, there you go. Yep. I mean, that's pretty much about as much as you want for, uh, turn one. Just a champion and energy. So... Jeremy starts off with Roseanne's. Probably going to get himself uh, Baltoy and Spiritomb. Yep. <clears throat> Using Spiritomb's Darkness Grace. Um, can immediately get a Claydol up and running while also trainer locking or item locking both players. So we might see Suzanne struggle a little bit um, in setting up because uh, there's a lot of uh, item based search cards in Donphan. In Donphan, exactly. I don't know if Jeremy has the unknown cue to get the Ralt out of the active, but yeah, time will tell. Yeah, wasting an energy to retreat um, the Ralt would would hurt a little bit, um, especially since Psychic Lock requires a double colorless and a Psychic. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the heal one. Well, he's got energy, so attach. I don't retreat. know if the Psychic is it. I think that was a mistake. I, but... I would rather have seen the fighting. Um, but it looks like Jeremy has a Claydol already in hand, so he'll probably go for Krillio. <clears throat> All right. Almost like you knew. <laughs> How about that? Wow. <laughs> Got a bad feeling that Spirit Tuming will make it. Yeah, all Suzanne really needs is just uh, Don Fan. A Don Fan. That's it. <laughs> and then just hits for sixty. <laughs> ta 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 ta. Got him. Um, now for Gallade, um, what was? I I believe its first attack is Fighting Colorless. Yeah, fighting Colorless. Fighting Colorless, and then um it brings the opposing Pokemon down to forty HP. Correct. Um. Yes. Yeah, I believe so. Yep. Does damage equal till they have forty hit points remaining? Yep. And then the bottom one is turn all your prizes. Yes. Right. Yep. Yep. It's oh. the prize flip one. Uh oh. Uh oh. We'll allow it, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> uh yes. Well, Suzanne is then, you know. <laughs> The judge in the area, so it's a little bit of a joke about that. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh my Woo, god. That imagine would be if, broken. 60 60 for one. 60, bro. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Sign us up. <laughs> Don Fan BDIF? Yeah. Uh, well, one for 120. I mean, at least Beedrill, you got to set up four stage twos to output 120. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is rough. I mean, I, I, I'm i not really sure what Jeremy could do. I, I think... Um, is that Paralyzing Gaze on the uh, Curlia? I'm not, I, don't, I, I don't recall, actually. Um, and that's where discarding the fighting instead of the psychic would have come into play here. Exactly. So if that was... Um, you know, he, he could have gone for a paralyze onto the curl uh onto the Don Fan. Or oh it's teleport. teleport okay. Blast. So, so then he could have um attached and then um switched into something to sack. Um the Curlia. Man, that Don Fan's gonna create all sorts of problems. Oh yeah, for sure. Don Fan just immediately turned two sixty when a bunch of the format, you know, is already sixty HP or less. With the basics, I mean, it's gonna be rough. 
but that's just the early pressure that Don Fan can put on. Um, right, and it's not susceptible to a uh, dust nor drop either. Mm-hmm. It doesn't run a high bench. Sh- certainly, you can catch it off guard, but um, I think you do need that Gallade to deal with them. Yes, for sure. Um, Gallade will definitely be important, seeing as how it can lead to a two-hit knockout onto a Don Fan. Um, whereas if you psychic lock, it would be a three hit knockout. Um, I'm not sure if um, Suzanne runs any healing cards. Um, I think it's just all ag- uh, yeah, aggressive it's aggro. cards, right? Yeah, aggressive. Yeah. yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, I do feel like if Jeremy can stabilize, um, he will have a good shot. Um, in addition, Machamp could also um, possibly be a. Um, be an attacker, helping the two-hit knockout war. Um, <clears throat> and I believe it, it has a rage-like attack as well. Th- does it? What's um, that? So, so, like, it does more damage for more uh, damage on it. Which one? Uh, M- Machamp, Great, Enc- Great Encounters. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, Dave. How you doing, man? Maybe you can make it out here one of these weekends. Every Saturday at 11, we'll be here. What's up? <clears throat> Hello, Nine Out of Ben. Yo. What up? It is Dan. Dan's on the controls. Yup. So, is that a... I think he might have top decked the stadium. Otherwise, I definitely would have liked to see the um, the Curlia um, up because because the stadium gives free retreat to all Psychic and yeah, he Dark did, Pokemon. He played a Roseanne's already this turn, so. <clears throat> yep. Um, first comes to worst, I guess he could call. Uh, well, Suzanne is, missing oh. energy drop last turn didn't help. Yeah. Oh, he can't call because he already cashed a double. <clears throat> Um, all right, so Suzanne, I think, um, would definitely be looking, uh, to oh, knock out Pokemon active. reversal. Pokemon reversal. Oh, man. He can, if she could, uh, get that curly up, man, that would set Jeremy back. But, fortunately, she flips tails. Oh, that's the worst copy of Pokemon reversal ever made. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Gator's like, come over here, Porygon. We'll take care of you, buddy. <laughs> funny enough, that's the that's actually the copy that I run on. Uh... Oh, actually, that's the only copy you can run on PTCGO. <laughs> no. Oh, oh Fiend that's, bus, that's an Fiend interesting attachment right there. Thank you right for there. the host. That's an uh, interesting attachment. I absolutely would have gone aggressive with that Don fan here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just hitting for 90 a turn. That would be... No! Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, Don fan only really needs um, one energy attachment to be effective. So you might as well be building up to, to right. three uh, energy attacks. So the the next energy attachment will be interesting. If she decides to go to the bench, then maybe it'll be worthwhile so that you can come out swinging for 90. Yeah. And only Gallade can one-shot it by turning over a lot of prizes. Exactly. And then that's that's a one-time deal. Once once that happens, it's going to be two KOs. Yeah, Psychic Lock is probably completely irrelevant in this matchup. Oh, I yeah. Mean, I mean, Psychic Lock, that <laughs> like... It's a three hit KO versus their two hit KO. Yeah, it's only doing forty damage. So a turn, and I'm not really sure what you're locking in Donphan other than the Uxies or Qs or Gs or whatever. Right. Yeah, it's it, it'll only really slow down Suzanne's draw, um, and um, I mean Donphan doesn't need much. <laughs> Hello, Paul Semenko. Jimmy said hi. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> Yes. So, I think Jeremy's starting to set up uh, 
secondary attacker. Yes, for sure. Um, what Jeremy could do if he doesn't um, find the warp point is to attach a double colorless to retreat. Um, which isn't horrible, but still hurts a little bit. You don't want to be wasting doubles. Oh, there's Gallade. Okay. Um, I believe Gallade does a 60 base. Is, is that correct? Yeah, 60 plus 20 for each prize card you turn over. Yep. Oh, man, so he would have to <laughs> flip over literally all the prize cards. All of his prize cards. I'm sorry, it's 60 plus 10 damage. No, plus 20 more yeah, for each prize card you turn over. Yep. 20 more, yep. So 60 damage plus 20 more, exactly, yep. So 6, he'd have to turn over 3 in this scenario. Right, because the expert oh, yes. belt gets offset mm -hmm. by exoskeleton. Yep, yep, I cannot do math. <laughs> I'm not sure why... He... Jeremy did call. Stay active. Just so he could retreat next turn, possibly? I mean, it's going to... I feel like it's going to get knocked out. Yeah, it's not going to make right? it, right? I mean... I, I feel like that energy attachment would be um better used somewhere else. Um, to one of the Ralts, potentially. Yeah. And, yeah, and uh, e even if Suzanne um, refrains from taking the knockout, I mean, that's just more time for Jeremy to set up his field. So... Um, yeah. I'm not... That's awkward. Yeah, it's it's a little bit awkward, but well, I'm sure he has a plan. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how it pans out for him. <clears throat> um, Jeremy used to run uh, Guardy Gallade <clears throat> uh, long before 2010. He he was uh, mm -hmm. playing it with four Poke Healers. Four Poke Healers. Wow. Yeah, wow. and that I mean... would really take people uh -huh. <laughs> off guard. Yeah, for sure. I mean. Um, I think it's uh, heal heal all damage when you play two down. Yeah, it's heal all, right? Yep, and that way you just out-trade. <laughs> Do that twice in a game, and you pretty much just win, I think. So. I think it was two and then heal eight. Heal 20 uh, and then yeah, heal yes. 80. Heal eight, yes. Yeah. Yep. Play one power spray. No power spray. <laughs> no Ooh. power spray here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge a bullet there, Jimmy. All right, so I am. Um, I think all Suzanne's really looking for is just another Dawn fan, just so that um, she doesn't take any more damage. Uh oh, warp point. Interesting. Oh no. Um, that's a bad play. Yeah, I'm not sure. Now you just allowed him to. Yeah. Yeah. You just allowed him to right? keep his clay doll. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure. I sure hope she has Dawn Fan in this. hand. Um, especially since um, this is the Dawn she Fan. She can't play that. You you can't play. Yeah, so there's item lock, so wah, you can't wah, play communications. Wah. And if this Vampy gets knocked out, all of that, <sighs> all of that um work is just um, gone. But well, there goes two energy. There goes two energies. That's the cost of a misplay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, like uh, if if anything, she she could have um. At least uh, put up the crowbat. Um, but here we are. <clears throat> oh, and now that Galate is 130 hit points. Oh man, yep, that is. I mean, granted, rough. you could crowbat it for two prizes, but yeah, even even still, though, losing two energy attachments like that is it's gotta hurt. Um, luckily. Um, just as long as she can uh, keep on setting up Dawn fans, um, she'll be able to stabilize because Jeremy can only one hit KO two Dawn fans. Um, and then uh, becomes the the trade war, the two hit KO war. But yeah, it looks like Jeremy will probably pull ahead here uh, in terms of board. Assuming he turns over three prizes, which I can't imagine. A scenario in which he would not. Right. Telepass. Um, telepass. D does telepass? Um. Does Gardevoir need to be active for that? Nope. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> nope. But you can only use it once per turn. Once per turn, and only one telepass per turn. Yeah. 
So there's Bebe's and Cynthia's. I, th I think here you would probably Cynthia's, if anything. Or you wouldn't Cynthia's. Oh, man. Jeremy with a setup for five. Pretty good stuff. Oh, there we go. We found a psychic. Has he played supporter yet? Um. Nope. Nope, not, not yet. <laughs> Right. Judge, then, the judge not really hurting Jeremy at all because of uh, the access of um, Claydol. Oh yeah, that's right. The Spirit Team got knocked out, so Cynthia draws eight. Insane value. That's not bad, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> I'd love to just shuffle my hand and draw eight every turn if I wanted to. <laughs> oh man. I would. I would still miss the pokey turns. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Jeremy has card advantage board advantage yep there we go One, so I could two, cut for the three. knockout oh man sure he takes the double here quite possibly um, he could also take the expert belt um, he already does have a double in hand, but um, setting up um, other attackers is definitely a good thing to do. So we'll see where he goes. I'm, I, I'll, I'm also not sure if he really needs the expert belt anyway, um, right. seeing as this um, Gallade <laughs> only what's it, is only effective for two turns. <clears throat> oh, it's 50 HP from knocking out. Got it. I'm I'm not sure how many fighting energies um how many fighting energies the Guardi deck finds. Probably none. Fine. Yeah, it's not in there to Sonic Blade. Okay. I don't I don't I, see. I, I thought I saw one. Um, but there is yep, one one, just, one fighting. Just one. Man, you can tackle Claydol, bro. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be attacking with uh, Gallade. I mean, who does that? <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, yeah. That, that one war point really changed the game there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because being able to respond right now with that Don fan, Jeremy would have had no clay at all. Mm -hmm. And then being able to respond with Don fan right now uh, would force Jeremy to turn all of his other prizes, which turns this into a Don Fan 60 damage versus Gardevoir 40 damage game. Mm -hmm. And um, even though um, Gallade would theoretically take three shots to knock out, um, there is um, Suzanne has access to um, Crobat G to just put that extra damage counter. Right. Um, now Jeremy could attach Expert Belt to um, his attackers in order to start two at KOing the Don fan. However, that would just make um, the knockouts against him because Expert Belt means that um, while you do get extra damage and HP, you take an extra prize. Or, so your opponent takes an extra prize when they get knocked out. So um, the prize trade will not be in his favor. But it looks like Suzanne here is going for the Chatot. Which is, which is definitely conven conveniently good. resistant to fighting. Yep, resistant to fighting. <laughs> um, and will also lead to her being able to get a hand refresh. I, I think she only has one card in hand. Yeah. And Jeremy has like seven or eight. <laughs> Nine. Wow. Nine cards. Nine wow. cards. Uh, looks like that's uh. That's gonna be Susan fairly good be for set. Don Fan. I think. Uh, for sure. <laughs> I think Don Fan can reset with that. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, I, I believe Jeremy only runs one judge. So, 
Um, Suzanne will not. She can be set up for a two prize turn or a three prize turn because of expert belt by um, mm -hmm. Pokey Turn and the, the Crobats. I don't know if Pokey Turn is in there, but. Uh, uh yeah, I I can imagine so. Um, I'm not. I'd be kind of surprised if it wasn't. Do, do, do. Uh, I guess no, not. I don't see it in there. No. Huh. Plus powers. Four plus powers. Plus power is in there though. Those will definitely be important. But those won't hit the bench, so. Yes. Correct. See here, I don't. I'm not sure um, if that double could have gone there. Um, because of the unknown G, um, the way Jeremy kind of uh, wins the prize ex or the attack exchange is by two hit KOing with um, Gardevoir Gallade with extra pelt and with that unknown G on there, um, it only turned to a three hit KO. <clears throat> But we'll see how that pans out. So Jeremy telepasses the Bebe search, getting a Guard of War level X. So, well, now that I look at it, I, that used to be a strategy I followed when Guardy was big: is you hit something and don't kill it, so that bring down is not a threat later in the game. Ah, so yeah. not that okay. that was the strategy. I mean, had she played that communication before she war pointed, mm -hmm. that could have totally been a, an excellent strategy against bring down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Wait, 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 no, wait, um, wait, no. Expert belt. There's an expert belt. So it does 60 base. Chat out 60. It's it's doing 80. It's good. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Chris is saying hi, Jimmy. What's up, Bianchi? We don't have any truck decks. <laughs> I got to build more truck decks. All right. So here's Suzanne. If Suzanne has a... Vampy and a fighting. I think she'll be in great shape for next turn. Um, because then all she needs is a dawn fan. No, I think I think she's gonna make a mistake here and play the reversal on the Claydol. Oh, I. That would. Um. Yeah. I. I hope not. But uh, we'll see. No. No reason to warp point here either. Yeah. No. This Galade is um definitely the biggest threat here. So yeah, without that war point, she'd have two energies here now three. Yep. So that would be uh, a big change to a ninety damage to this Gallade. Oh yeah, for sure. Because then it would only. No, need... I did not win that match, Bianchi. <laughs> I went Uxy for six, trying to hit a Pokey Turn, and if I hit the Pokey Turn, that Ditto becomes a major monster. But uh, because I missed the Pokey Turn, it put me a turn behind and. Say la vie. Can't win against SP decks when you're prize exchanging from one down. Rip. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right, looks like Roseanne, she took a fan and an energy. Yep. So... Um, I would definitely like to see an attach to the fan pee. On the bench, there you go. Yep, there we go. Yep. And then, attempt everything. Oh, Moonlight Stadium gives Jeremy a little bit of flexibility. Mm-hmm. Um. For sure. Um. I think um, he shouldn't. He probably shouldn't drop it yet, seeing as Suzanne um, runs broken time space, so she can easily bounce it. But it it, it would definitely um, help in, in evolving things like his Gardevoir into the level X. Sorry, sorry, not uh, not evolving, leveling. Up. Level up. Yep. Yep. 
Well, this the the build that Jeremy has also has a uh, an Azelf level X. Yes. To give it no weakness, to give it better matchups in the mirror. Mm -hmm. um, what what is Azelf level X's um, attack again? I don't know what the attack is, but I know that it uh, removes all weakness. Yes. Um, I do believe that that is for the mirror. Um, good stuff. Um, because who knows? Even I mean, Azelf level X might even be a a viable attacker, but. I forgot what that card did. Yep, definitely attaching to the Guard of War. So missing the Thanks psychic energies, missing the psychic energy. Yeah, I think he should have attached a psychic to the Guard of War this turn to give him the bring down as an option. Mm. Um, because the more she attacks, the more damage is going on her bench. Mm -hmm. So by attaching <clears> the double, you you commit out of bring down. If that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, I definitely see that. Um, I would have preferred the option, I guess, given mm -hmm. a choice. Exactly. Yep. So you can either do um, that. Um, however, the Claydol is um, at 20 damage left, so Suzanne would have to um, Earthquake two more times. Um, yeah, just to bring the, the curl back. Down. Right. Jeremy's very comfortable with Gardevoir. He ran Gardevoir for many a tournaments. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it was pretty much the best deck in 2008, correct? You'll never get me to admit to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Sausage would take care of that. No problem. I'd believe it. <laughs> All right. So if Suzanne can get a Dawn fan, actually, um, she will be in great shape. Yeah, this puts her in a favorable position. Definitely favorable position here. <clears throat> um, because I think she has the expert belt, so she can just take a knockout with Earthquake. Yep. I'm not sure about the communication. I'm not sure either, but... Um, I'm could, not playing. Could've, yeah, <laughs> could have saved that for a um another fampy. Another fampy. Um, I probably would have put another broken time space on top because I, if I remember correctly, she has three in her hand. Yeah, why not play it just to get it out of your hand, right? Right. I mean, yeah, m might as well take a take away that yeah option of retreating. Especially if you're gonna take a knockout. Yep. <clears throat> Does it knock it out though? No, it's it's twenty short. I, I thought I were, um, saw an expert belt in there, but in, in uh, Suzanne's hand, but I could have uh, been wrong on that. No, apparently not. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, no, it's not Jeremy. a knockout. It's not a knockout. Jeremy. It's, it's, it's not a knockout. It's not a knockout. It's not a knockout. It's, it has 20 left. Um, I think it was the Azulf and the expert belt. Yep. Yep. Put them back down. Jeremy, do this. <laughs> Seven yep. years gone by. And now you got... Did she put the damage? Yes. Yeah. Yep, she put the damage on. Yep, she put the damage. It's all good. Um, well, knowing that Suzanne um, cannot flashbite knockout anymore, <laughs> um, I I think it's fine that yeah. that Calais didn't get knocked out. Right. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way to hit the bench with what's in a Don fan deck. Like, uh, I I think just retreating using the double colorless, um, possibly. What does putting... Dunsparce do? That, I I think. I think it was there for uh, Garchomp, maybe. Um, it does forty, maybe. I oh, fade out. Oh, it was for using um plus power because um. So you never bought, never deck out. Yep. So um. So well um using fade out um. Yeah, it's like the old Oxy Donks. Yes. 
Well, well, with plus power, you can actually kill Don. Um, what's that? Uh, guard chomps while also bringing plus powers back to hand. Because back then you attached plus you power. You them, right? So you could actually use more than four plus power <laughs> a game if you really wanted to. But yeah. I think Don Fan actually has a strong matchup against Guardy. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Yeah, for um, sure. It, it definitely has a shot. Um, especially if um, it gets up to the three energy um, attack. Just doing 90 per turn. So Jeremy cannot knock out this Don Fan in this turn, so it does become interesting. Mm -hmm. So putting 80 damage onto the Don Fan. So. Yeah, 80 total, so she went 90. Yep. So she would have been 90. Right? So yep. She... yep, that makes sense. Because Exoskeleton and, and uh, Expert Belt offset. Yep. So he did 60, flipped one prize for 80. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is where the communication would have been very nice. Yeah. Top deck an unknown queue. Um, if, if I remember correctly, maybe there's more than one Oxygen deck. So yeah, um, absolutely. This is an aggressive deck. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked to see three of them in this deck. So maybe, maybe that could happen. Yep. Um, does she have a babies in hand, or is that something else? Nope, that's Cynthia. Two gold point, two broken Cynthia. Might as well play it. Yeah, might as well play the Cynthia. Get feel. you six new cards, right? Yeah, I mean, you really need to find a Fampy this turn because. Um, that Don Fan's gonna get knocked out, and then once that happens, you just. I still think she could win this game, though. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, you just gotta set have... more Don. She needs a Night Maintenance, and then set Don Fans. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's that's rough. Suzanne um got an energy, but not the not the Fampy. Did she only draw four cards? Yeah, that's what Cynthia does, right? Four or eight. Yeah, four or eight. If uh, there was a knockout. So here we go. Okay, now now he could bring down. Ooh, I wonder if he's is that a Q or a G? I think that's a G on the Gardevoir. Uh, no, no, that that was a Q. It is a Q. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, that would have been cute though. Um, having a G on the Crobat. Yeah, but. Uh... But. Yeah, at, at this point, um, unless Suzanne top decks a way to draw or something. Um... I almost think you bring down. Or if I'm Jeremy, maybe judge, but he's already played Roseanne's. Yeah. Because you judge and then use Cynthia's feelings on your side. Take the knockout on the the Don fan in sight with Psychic Lock. Mm -hmm. oh! oh, man. Yeah, that's right. Psychic Lock actually just locks down all Poke yeah. Power, so Uxie but, can't do anything. Yeah, you judge, and that'd be the end of that. Mm -hmm. But because the, the Gardevoir now is on the one without the Psychic Energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, if, if, Jer oh, night maintenance, night maintenance. Yep. Okay. Um, I would have liked to see night maintenance before the Roseanne's to get the psychic, but it's okay. I know he has one more in deck and then he just shuffled that one. So mm -hmm. there's at least two. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that makes it even worse because of teleport. Hmm. Now, what could be interesting is that Jeremy could actually also set up um, Machamp because all all Suzanne has <laughs> are goes. basics. Bam! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Is um is Gardevoir's um Poke Power um Telepath. you may switch it, uh sorry Gardevoir level X um so like is it you may switch it once during your turn choose one of your active Pokemon okay so you switch it with the Gardevoir level X yeah instead of selecting a bench and switching it first right mm -hmm. yeah that's all too little too late I think here uh yeah uh, the Fampy is an O. An okay top deck, but unfortunately here, 
a little Let's late. see, this is where Jeremy could have just ran the table with bring down. Mm. Yep. He could have taken that prize. Uh, it doesn't matter. Machamp is going to clean it up here anyway. Yeah, for sure. And then, um, yeah, I think that's for a double colorless. 30 plus 10 for each um, damage on it. So it's looking like Jeremy might be able to close out the game here. Missing that fan peel last turn was really tough. Yeah, for sure. Yep. And she's psychic locked, so she can't do anything. So sixty. Uh, Susanna, it goes to the bottom with you, because you um you you attach plus power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I th I think she brings up the crowbats. Yeah, I agree. You have no Might choice. as well. <laughs> oh, <Bro! laughs> oh my god! Oh, bring down, bam! Two Take prizes. Out. Take oh. out. Take, oh man, uh, that's awful. Wow. <laughs> what an exciting what conclusion. <laughs> what <laughs> an exciting conclusion. Good stuff. That's funny. Nice. Well, yeah, that was a good game. I think yeah. <laughs> I actually think Don Fan could be a positive matchup against Guardy. Possibly, quite possibly. <clears throat> yeah, to bring it down to to fifty left, and then just yeah. attack it with the uh... with an extra fail to Guardy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That sure. early war point really hurt. Um. But it actually helped because then Jeremy just couldn't use uh, Gallade to get you to 50 and then start bringing every, all the Don fans down. So keeping that 60 damage out there was actually pretty important. 